Hello, and welcome to Warmer Setup. So the first thing that we're going to do is plug in the warmer into a red port. Next, as you can see here, there's a little circuit breaker switch. We need to always have this on in order to work. And if we're preparing for, a, for an imminent delivery, so on the Admit Baby screen, it will warm up to 100% in seven minutes. Then it goes back down to 50%. And we can leave it here if we're not expecting our baby right away. But if we are expecting our baby, we'll hit Admit and we'll keep our heat at 100%. Next, we should test out our respiratory device. So if you have a tea piece, go ahead and plug it in here. If you are using a flow inflating bag, you can plug that in over here. Test this out. We're going to occlude the cap, and you can do this with the lid that comes with it or just using your hand. And we're going to turn on our airflow. We want our flow always to be at 10 liters per minute. What I'm checking for here is my, my PIP, so our positive end expiratory pressure. And it helps to check this when you're standing at the head of the bed. To adjust our, our PEEP, it's going to be this dial here that's labeled PEEP plus or minus. Sometimes this cap is white. Next, I'm going to check my PIP. And we check the PIP by fully occluding the circuit. And so we want our PIP to be at about 20. So we look good. Mm -hmm. To adjust our PIP, we would come over here. It's gonna put us at about a hard stop at 30. If we wanted to go higher, we can, but we're always gonna start off at 20. So if you're using the flow inflating device, we're gonna check this in a similar way. So you have to go to 10 liters per minute on this side. Make sure your flow is on. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna occlude the end of the bag. And what are we looking for? That's right, a peep of five. And so to adjust our peep using this bag, it's gonna, we'll use this dial on the side. To adjust the pip, it's actually just how hard you squeeze the bag. So where do we want that to be? At about 20. It's important to check your bag before the delivery just to make sure that it doesn't have any holes and that it can deliver peep and pip. Next, we're going to add our suction device and check that. So you'll take this, and the suction is located on the side of the warmer. We'll lift this up, and then this is our dial. So in order to see where I want, I'm going to kink our tubing, and I want us to be at about 80 to 100, and then we'll release. At the end of this suction device, we have a few options that you could use depending on your facility. One is this delete, and so we will put that at the end. this suction tubing here. To use the delete, you'll cover up the hole. We also have just regular suction catheters that you can attach to the end as well. Now let's find an appropriately sized mask for the baby that we're expecting. So we're expecting a term baby, so I'm going to use this newborn mask. But it seems a little deflated, so we're also going to always check our mask to make sure it's going to be fit well. If it's really deflated or overinflated, you can attach your syringe to the top here. Oh my goodness, there we go. And add some air. That seems good. So we want to make sure that we have a baby hat, which we're going to put at the head of the bed here, and a bulb syringe, also at the head of the bed. We also want to make sure that we need to that we have the ability to monitor our 
temperature with a um, with temperature probe and the correlating sticker. And also importantly, that we have the ability to monitor our, our pulse oximetry with a POSI nearby. If we're expecting um, more extensive resuscitation, we can feel free to open up those packages as well. To use the um, pulse ox, if your model has this ability, you'll just turn it on here. Obviously, you need to have your pulse ox plugged in, and this will be attached to the infant's right wrist or hand. Okay, so next let's talk about for babies that are about to be delivered that are less than 32 weeks or less than 1,500 grams. Um, there's a few things that we'll do differently. So one of them is we'll use one of these chemical mattresses. It's best to crack these open if you have the ability five minutes prior to the delivery. To use it, you'll find this little disc here and you'll crack it. And that sets a catalyst effect that's going to warm up this pack. Be sure to read the instructions on your chemical mattress to see which side should go up and if you need to cover it with a blanket. For this particular model, it gives us the okay just to place the baby on this side. So once we have cracked this mattress, the other thing that we're gonna do to um, set up for this small baby is a polyethylene wrap or bag like this one. So when our small baby comes out, it can be wrapped up. Keep those arms in. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never wrap around the infant's face. So when we're preparing for a small baby, we have other sizes masks that we really want to fit our baby. The goal of the mask is that it's going to have a good seal around the chin, over the nose, but not on the eyes. So for our little baby, we're going to use our tiny little there's an in-between size between those masks, our preemie size and our ultra preemie. We also want to make sure that we have our oxygen, uh, our pre-ductal target oxygenation table available and that we have a stethoscope. This is our oxygen blender. So for almost all of our babies, our term babies, we're going to start off at 21%. For babies that are under 34 weeks, we can start off at 21 to 30%. When the baby is born, we're going to hit our APGAR timer when the entire body is born, not just the head. And this is going to give us a really good count of how long our baby has been around. Once your baby is stable, you can switch over to baby mode. This top yellow button is our silence button, very important. Mm -hmm. Silence that, and you can set the temperature that you'd like your baby to be at using these arrows. So we're going to have our baby at 37 degrees. Then we can put the end of our temp probe onto the baby's skin. The the warmer will start to regulate its internal temperature, its external temperature, based off of what the baby's temperature is reading here. So it's important not to let this temp probe get loose, otherwise your baby might overheat. Okay. When we're ready to transport the baby, so we're leaving the room and we're going to take the baby in the warmer, one thing that we will need to do is open up our tanks. So you'll take one of these keys and just about a quarter or a half a turn to the other side. Then you can unplug the baby from the wall. We want to make sure that our tanks are okay. So it does look like our air tank is a little bit low for transport. <laughs> 